The book that I'm reading for you today is called Earth, My First 4.54 Billion Years by Stacy McNulty and illustrated by David Litchfield. Hi, my name is Earth. Some people call me Gaia, the blue marble, the world, or the third planet from the sun. You can call me Planet Awesome. My family is really, really big. I have seven siblings in my solar system. I'm closest to Venus and Mars. Some used to say I have eight siblings, but Pluto is more like the family pet. And then there are my cousins. My Milky Way family has billions of planets. Told you, big family. My favorite things to do are spinning. It takes me a whole day to go around once. And circling the sun, that takes me an entire year. My best friend is the moon. We hang out all the time, even when you can't see her. The moon needs 27 days, seven hours, 43 minutes and 12 seconds to go around me. I've timed her. I was born 4.54 billion years ago. I don't remember what it was like to be a baby. Who does? But I've been told that I was a hot mess. Explosive, gassy, very cranky. It rained for thousands of years. Then I started to cool off and things got wet, really wet. I'm not kidding, thousands. I was soggy and lonely. A few islands popped up in my oceans, but no plants or animals. My islands must have been lonely too. They got together and made bigger islands called continents. I remember Ura Nuna and the ginormous Pangaea. Then Pangaea split into seven separate continents. Things are always changing. As I got older, stuff began to grow. The time of the dinosaurs was one of my favorites. I mean, everyone loves dinosaurs. They lived with me for 175 million years until... Asteroid! It's not always easy being Earth. Volcanic eruptions, ice ages, and major collisions. But on the inside, I'm the same planet awesome. Humans have been super fun. No other species has ever been interested in learning about me. Other animals are nice, but they mostly eat and poop and never wonder about my amazing life. But sometimes humans forget to share and play nice and clean up after themselves. Still, I bet you humans will turn out to do really great things.
read this book about Earth, written by Earth, while you float through space on, you guessed it, Earth.